Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Now the updates. Several servants, police, army officers to be on lockdown for three weeks. Epa declares as he moves to invalidate the illegitimacy of the so-called state actors in the South East Zone. Now, the Biafra Prime Minister, of course, uh, of the government in exile, talking about Mazi Samon Epa, have declared that there will be a three weeks lockdown specifically for civil servants police army officers said they will be on lockdown said after these two weeks these two weeks if nothing is being done to release Martin and the colonel whom the court of campaign judiciary in the land have declared free of all frivolous and criminal charges leveled against him by the federal government so if nothing is being done that there will be another lockdown this one will be for civil servants for police, the army. He is making an incursion, inroads into the into this governance structure of the southeastern states. Look, he said, this one will not be like other ones because you see the other ones, everyone will be involved. He said this one will be specially, specially, specifically for these people, for civil servants. So they won't, they won't go to office. So they will wait for three weeks for they will resume office. Said he will make sure that these so-called state actors they will run their government until their coffers will be dry and they will have nothing to left to run the government unless they release Mazina Makan. Yes. Let me quote him, Maji Simon Eba. Our agenda is to make sure you can't afford release Mazina Makano or risk three weeks lockdown of only Nigerian civil servants in Biafra land. As the two-week lockdown is ending, the civil servants in Biafra land should get ready for three weeks lockdown of only Nigerian civil servants and other Nigerian officials within Biafra territory. The police, the police army, eh? others, offices within Biafra land will be locked down for three weeks. And if they fail to release MNK, we will extend it to four weeks until they will have no money to run the government. End of quote. Yes. In addition, he said, look, this is at home is to demand the immediate and unconditional release of Mazdan Mekano, who remains illegally detained at DSS dungeon. Yes, he said that. This is also in preparation for Biafra's self-referendum and to further put the word and notice that Biafrans are taking their future into their own hands. Yes, Epa continued to say, look, this is at whom we observed to invalidate the illegitimacy of those who pride themselves as Nigeria's representatives within Biafran territory. That's the point he's making. Say so it will invalidate the illegitimacy. Because there are already all of them there who are there. They say we are governors, we are state actors. They pride themselves as representatives of the federal government of Nigeria in Biafran land. Eba said, look, all of you, shame, 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 shame. Say because uh, I'm going to expose you. That's what I'm saying now. Said he's prepared to expose their frailty. That's to tell the world that look, they don't have the mandate of the people. Some of them came through the back door. Some of them Supreme Court. Some of them, you know, the 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 Abrakatabra, the Electoral Empire, the Bias Empire. That they will use money to buy them, pay them in dollars, and they will come and rig the election for them. And the Azuma offices. People know that they are not standing on their own mandate. It is fraud, fraudulent election. Okay, if I say he's going to expose them. And that's why they are afraid and jittery about this whole civil disobedience of a thing. Of course, you know, what is happening is civil disobedience. People want to disobey, you know, in that regard. And say, look, we want to stay at home. Of course, in some other climates, people say, oh, we are going on hunger strike. And it is allowed, it is tolerated that people want to go on hunger strike to demand, to make, you know, their demand public and uh, so that it will attract concerns and attention and they want to go on strike a hunger strike and this one the people say look we want to start to home to register differences they say we're not carrying arms and ammunition no violence no protest no demonstration just sitting at home and people are worried those who say they're state actors you can start people to come out now if you have the the mandate if you are the one who if you are in charge if they listen to you if you if we give them directive, they will do it. But in this case, you say, come out. And they will say, no. So you are on your own. You are a shag on a rock. You are struck away alone. Yes.
you are looting resources of the kind of this of these states these so-called state actors the looters for since 1999 they return to this their them the demon decrease demon decrease we have been seeing successive government administrations in the southeastern states and we have seen what they have achieved nothing nothing absolutely nothing just little or nothing some of them who tried you know but all are just looting looting majority of them are looting the resources in most cases you know they are relatives they are concubines they are allies their cronies and associates everything so they divert money government money money meant for the people the masses into their own private accounts buying houses in asia in dubai europe and americas and that is it okay stealing money looting brazenly and they walk on the streets like kings lords whereas they are servants of the people those they claim they, they claim they were elected by the people to serve the people but you see them walking like kings you know brazen impunity it won't do me anything we have army we have the place so now this army and place will go on lockdown that's what it by saying look it will be hell because this one uh, the people who are try, who will defend them who will fight for them who they are using to defend themselves against the poor masses they have defrauded will be on lockdown and uh, you your your guess will be good as mine all right yes so that's what it is saying he's saying he's making an incursion into the offices yes to liberate the people from the contraption hey from these clutches of this in it is uh, you know modern day uh, you know colonialists yes in those days even those colonialists the sense the people who are governing nigeria today they are committing the colonialists did not do it quarter let me tell you apart from what britain did against the Biafrans and other european countries in america during the civil war okay they neglected us or that they supported the government of nigeria against the Biafrans, which they have not apologized upon this moment and that aside and we talk about the lopsidedness of what the britain did while in nigeria colonizing they handed over to fulani people to control nigeria the fulani people of course you know them they are strangers in nigeria they are migrants they are not indigenous nigerians and they are not over to them and that's the problem we're facing today that's the the ban of the development we're seeing today in the country okay and so apart from that one they sense the indigenous people those who call themselves Nigerians, they are committing against their fellow Nigerians. It's worse than whatever the colonialists did. I tell you, even in South East, you, you will see the colonialist ascents to compare with what this plan is doing. Aside from these two major events I just mentioned, our actions of these uh, you know, colonialists. Apart from them, these two actions, the people who are governing today, they are committing atrocities, taboo, and sacrilege against the people, their own brothers. And so that's why by saying, look, this is time to liberate our people from the contraption, from the clutches of the enemies around. Yes, and that is it. Say lockdown. 